I guess I should thank you. I mean, not everybody would try to do something like this for me. Honey, you are a creation of Almighty God. You are precious to Him. No thanks needed. Now listen, bathroom's back there. Bedroom's to the right, so why don't you go ahead and get settled in? Okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. We'll see you in just a second. Well, hello, Pistol Pack and Mama. How's it going? Psst, smart Alec. Who blabbed? Gina. And she was just trying to help. In fact, she went ahead and put it out on Facebook for you. She did what? Just kidding. Don't do that. I've almost already had one heart attack today. I don't need another one. Do that. So are you okay? I assure you. This pistol packing pasta is just fine. And before you bring up the subject, we are perfectly safe here. Oh, sure you are. Mm -hmm. I just opened the door and walked right in. And did you lock it behind you? No. Mm -hmm. well, where are those attack poodles of yours? Oh. <laughs> I think they're still down at the lake chasing ducks. Oh, that's really helpful. You're right. <laughs> I so where's know. your guest? Oh, she's in the back. Maddie, my heart absolutely breaks for her. She has been to Hades and back at the hands of an abuser. And you know how I hate abuse. She has been beaten. She's been bruised. She has zero sense of self-worth. She just needs the help of God's people. Oh, Terry. Come on in, sweetie. Hey. Terry, I'd like you to meet my sometimes best friend, Maddie. Hello. I didn't know you were going to have some guests over. I mean, if there's a problem, I can go back to my room. Nonsense. Come have some tea with us. And I happen to know where Lynn hides the good cookies. And just for you, on the shelf underneath the good cookies, you'll find the dog biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for Pete's sakes, it's just Deacon Hall. What are you trying to do? Give us all a heart attack? No. Mary said if I didn't come by and check on you too, she changed the locks on the house. Mercy, I do like that woman. Mm. Ladies, are you all okay? Is there anything I can do for you? We're fine, thanks. We're perfectly fine. Pastor Lynn, I'd like to speak to you for a moment if you don't mind. Terry, honey, would you mind going back there and put some fresh sheets on your bed for me? I put a brand new set on the chair next to the bureau. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Now, Pastor Lynn, I know you have good intentions, but Officer Lansky and I talked, and we don't think you realize how dangerous domestic disputes can be. He's right, you know. Whose side are you on? And I do fully understand how dangerous I can be. You forgot I was in corrections for a number of years. But you heard, Lansky, there's no place to put her. And if you think for one minute that I had any intention of tossing that young child out in the streets, you crazy. Wasn't going to happen. Well, can you at least be extremely careful? I will. I will. And ladies, if there's anything that I can do for you, just well, let... Now that you mention it, I'm going to stay here until they lock that thug up. But I need to get work done. Therefore, I need to go back to the office and pick up some stuff. Do you mind taking me? Sure. Oh, but aren't you concerned about their safety? Honey, <laughs> old Maddie meaner than I am. Look, this is the plan of attack. We'll get the dogs off duck detail. We'll have them lock the door, and we'll have them put in the security code. They'll be fine. All right. Oh, 
Okay, I think that'll do it. Lamar, we've got some time. Would you mind if we talked a bit? Sure. Let's see. I just wanted you to know how unbelievably proud I was of you this morning in the sanctuary. Look, I know I'm not your favorite person. I know that. And yet, you were willing to protect me. You were willing to put yourself in harm's way. You didn't know whether he had a knife. You didn't know whether he had a gun. And yet, you were willing to lay your life down for another. That is the character of Christ. That is the character of a leader. Well, I don't know. I, I did it before I even thought about it. That probably means because it's in you. Maybe. Maybe. Look, let me be honest with you. I know you want to be head deacon. I know that. But I have struggled with that thing. I have wrestled with that thing because the truth is, I just didn't feel you were the right person. But what I saw in the sanctuary this morning, <laughs> that gave me such hope. So, let me tell you my thinking. Everybody has to grow and mature. This might even possibly include me. So let me propose this. If you would put your hand in mine and in the hand of the rest of the leaders, and together we would walk down this path to, a, let's say, an Ephesians 4 kind of maturity, if you'd be willing to do that, then I'd be willing to reconsider your position. What do you think? Lynn, do you know how hard it is for me to change at my age? I'm old, and I'm finally content. And now you're asking me to turn my whole world upside down? Well, I'm not exactly a young chicken anymore. And may I remind you that my hopes and dreams and visions of my retirement would be sitting on my back porch, eating bonbons, and sipping ice cold lemonade. But where was I this morning? In the sanctuary, in the middle of that mess. All I'm asking of you, old man, is would you put your hands in the hand of this old gal and do the same thing you were willing to do this morning, and that is lay your life down, except this time for the purposes and the work of the kingdom. Well, when you put it that way, you must have driven your husband crazy. I did, and I worked real hard at it. You know what I'm beginning to think? That underneath all that crusty exterior lies an awesome man of God just waiting to bust out and be used mightily by the Most High. In fact, I'm so sure of it, I'm going to come around there and get myself a hug. Come here and hug me, you old man. <laughs> Now what? Oh man, it's that maniac again. Quick, call the police. No, 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 Lamar, no. He's dangerous. Oh, what a good that did me. Officer Lansky, please, and tell him it's an emergency. It's an emergency. He can do that later. Billy, it's Lynn. The guy's back. We have no idea what he's capable of. We need you here, and we need you here now. Okay. We'll be careful. All right. See you. Jerry! I'm back, and I'm not leaving here without you. But she's not here. You think you can hide her from me, old man? Now calm down, my friend. I don't want any trouble. You're not my friend. Well, if you're not my friend, you're not welcome here. You need to leave, please. I'm not leaving without her. Terry! I told you she left with the police. Now would you please leave? All right. I'm only going to tell you this once. You tell me where they took her, and you won't get hurt. No, I told you! What 
doctor, Pastor Lynn, what do you think you're doing? Oh, stop your grumbling and give me your belt. My belt? What's wrong with your belt? Oh, no can, amigo. Elastic, give me your belt. Oh, I knew I should have found a new church. <sighs> give me that thing. Oh. Mama, ain't you Harry? You sitting on his legs? I got him. All right, all right, hold him, hold him. Oh. Okay, I got him. Knock it off. I got him. You got him? Pastor Lynn, you better not ever tell anyone about this. I'm thinking Facebook. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh. This sure gives a new meaning to the old phrase. Caught with your pants down. No. Here, here. Smile. Let me give you a picture of this. No. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. There goes my last shred of dignity. I know I'll never hear the end of this one. Yeah, but you're always going to be able to say you got to the bottom of this. And you know what? When I tell them about this, this is going to be a must-read at the precinct. And you, you're under arrest. Uh -oh.